Hi, this is Duad Mellon, and in this video I'm going to talk about my thoughts on the Eilish Drac creepypasta. So you know Eilish Drac, right? So, so you know like when I was little, I didn't really do that much research into Eilish Drac, I don't know. And stuff, I don't know. I mean, I think I just watched one video about it or something. And the guy was discussing his um, encounter with Eilish Drac and stuff like that. It was interesting, yeah. But I think I just watched one video about it. And also in other top 10 creepypasta videos, they did mention Eilish Drac and stuff. I watched those videos as well. But yeah, I only watched one video about it and stuff, and yeah. And yeah, and what I think about it is, I don't know, it was scary, I guess, you know, I was Drac Ray, he has the, like, no eyes and stuff like that, yeah, it's pretty scary and stuff, yeah. He's obviously, like, um, he, uh, he obviously is, um, I don't know if he's similar to Laughing Jack, maybe he isn't, maybe he is. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's where the inspiration came from, from I was Drac, you know, it's kind of just like another cop-out Laughing Jack, right? This is another, another Laughing Jack character, basically. Eyeless Jack, right? Because they both have Jack at the end of their names, right? You know, you got Laughing Jack, and then you have Eyeless Jack. Eyeless Jack, um, I don't know what its uh, inspiration is. I'm not too sure. Mm, maybe it's inspired by, uh, I don't know, Jason Voorhees or something like, you know, the face, right, of Eyeless Jack kind of looks like that or something. I'm not too sure what it's, in, what it's inspired by. But yeah, anyways, um, yeah, he was like a mask and stuff. I don't know. I don't really know much about it. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, like, um, Read it off the uh, Google page or whatever like, uh, that I have on my laptop. So, so I was track, right? I was track. Is the titular main antagonist of the creepypasta story of the same name? Jack is a man eating egg, eating enigmatic serial killer with a craving of, of for human organs. So basically, he craves for human organs. So he eats human organs. And he, he, sorry about my. Um, sorry about that. I'm a, I know I'm a stubborn bitch, but I'm trying to. Right? So, so basically, he eats human organs and stuff like that, yeah. And yeah, and his abilities are, I'm just going to read them out here. Eilish Jack isn't all that powerful. Uh, he's not really that powerful. However, he is incredibly stealthy. So his um, advantage is that he's stealthy, but he's not really that strong. Very similar to Laughing Jack and stuff, you know. Laughing Jack isn't strong, but he's stealthy. Just like Eilish Jack as well. So he's not strong, but he's stealthy. He se and, seems, and seems to possess some degree of anatomical anatomical knowledge and as a thorough understanding of the human body use of surgical instruments and removing vital organs of the human body so basically he removes your vital organs and stuff like that like I don't know like your heart your lungs your brain and stuff yeah and I uh, know he uses like some instruments to do that and he eats them I think yeah probably does that yeah so his abilities are like you know his weaknesses is that he's not that strong but he's very um stealthy so that's his, his ability so, sorry I'm stoned or not so, so that's his, uh, his ability right he's stealthy and stuff like you know what that means is that you know he's like hard to detect or something like that you know hard to like you know notice when he's there or something you don't even know when he's there and he just comes out of nowhere and stabs, stabs you to death and stuff ambush right yeah but yeah, his weakness is that he's not physically strong. You can easily beat the shit out of him and run away and stuff. But you know, like when you're sleeping, it's a lot easier for him to get to you and stuff, you know. Like, when you're sleeping, right, you can't move and stuff. So yeah, then he uses his inst his instruments, right, to, like, you know, remove your organs and stuff. Yeah, like, he, like, removes your vital organs, like your heart, which basically, that's just going to kill you right away, right, because you need your heart. And he just takes that out of you, takes your lungs out, takes probably your brain out as well, and your eyeballs. Actually, I don't know if your eyes are even an organ, are they? Maybe they are, yeah. Yeah, yeah, they are an organ, right, because you need them, yeah. Anyways, yeah, he removes your vile organs. And he has some degree of anatomical knowledge. And has he, he knows about, like, the human body and stuff like that. He has a thorough understanding of the human body. He has some degree of anatomical, 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 shit, sorry, I couldn't even see that anatomical, not anatomical, anatomical knowledge and there's a thorough understanding of the human body which basically means that he knows the um, the vital parts of the human body and stuff like you know the heart, the lungs, the brain and stuff right and yeah his weakness is that he's not really powerful, he's not strong but he's incredibly stealthy which means that you know it's very hard to detect him as I said earlier and stuff and what I think about Alice Jack was it did used to scare me as a kid and stuff right I was scared of it and stuff but I don't know that's because I used to think it was real, right? But you know, after I figured out it wasn't real, it's just, oh, whatever, it's fake. It's like another creepypasta, right? 
But yeah, I was struck was interesting and stuff. Yeah, I used to do a lot of research on it on YouTube, mainly just on YouTube. I didn't really research it on any other platform besides just YouTube. And the videos I just used to watch of it was just like in like, you know, top ten creepypasta videos and stuff and then there was this other video that like you know that the guy had his, his encounter with Irish Jack and stuff obviously the videos obviously the stories like fake and, and stuff right but you know the guy discusses it discusses his encounter with Irish Jack and stuff and yeah it was interesting so yeah and yeah I did watch um, a couple other YouTubers they did mention Irish Jack and stuff yeah it was interesting and stuff and yeah so what I think about Irish Jack was it is kind of scary I think yeah you know he doesn't have any eyes in him right you know it's just he just has no eyes, right? Yeah, it's, it's creepy, right? You know, he just wears a mask with no eyes and stuff, right? And he harvests your organs and stuff when you're sleeping. Like your vital organs, like your heart, your kidney, your liver, your brain, or whatever, right? Yeah. And his um, weakness is that he's incredibly weak. Like, he, his weakness is that he's not really good at, um, bat like, not really good at battle, right? Not really good at fighting. He's incredibly weak, but he's incredibly stealthy, which is, a, which is his advantage, his weakness is... A, his weakness is, is that he's not really strong, just like the laughing jack. But yeah, he harvests your organs when you're sleeping and stuff, yeah. I think that's probably the best time to do it, obviously, right? Because, you know, when you're asleep, it's a lot harder to get up and do things, right? Your brain's all tired, needs to go to sleep, and when you're sleeping, like, you know, Alice Jack comes to your bedroom, rips your organs out and eats them and shit, yeah. He, he has a thorough understanding of the human body as well. Alright, I already discussed his abilities and stuff, you already know that, right? Anyways, um, what else about Alice Track is, I don't know. I don't know if it really scared me as a kid, I was really that scared of Alice Track. I only mainly just watched one video of it and stuff, uh, and stuff, yeah. About this guy's encounter with Alice Track, and then I watched, like, other top 10 creepypasta videos, and they did mention Alice Track in those videos as well. But yeah, I don't know what else I can say about Alice Track, I think he's just kind of another, um, I don't know. I think he was kind of inspired by Laughing Jack as well, you know, Laughing Jack, then you have Eyeless Jack, because they both have Jack at the end of their names, right, yeah. And I don't know what else I could say about him, I don't know, he, he's, uh... I don't know, but his origin, right? The original story, a man named Mitch moves in here with his brother, Edwin. Uh, I could read the story, but I don't know, it's gonna take too long. There's like a, there's like an origin story of an Irish track I could read that, but you should definitely look into that yourself in your own free time. But yeah, what I think about Irish track was that it was very scary and stuff when I was little, right? But, you know, I was really scared of it and stuff, because I actually used to think it was real. But you know, after I figured out it was fake as bullshit, it was just another creepypasta, right? Another made up internet horror story, I just kind of lost interest. Or maybe I just grew out of it. I don't know, either those two things, right? But yeah, Eyeless Jack is very interesting, right? You should definitely do some research on it by yourself in your own free time and see what you think about it. What I think about it was, is that I was scary at the time and stuff when I was little, right? I kind of was a little scared of Eyeless Jack, I don't know. You know, he has no eyes and stuff. He harvests your organs and eats them. And yeah, it was interesting, I think, yeah. But you know, after I grew older, right? I figured out I was fake. I was like, oh, whatever, it's not real, right? It's just another creepypasta. It's like all the other creepypastas, right? But yeah, Alice Jack was interesting, right? When I was little, I did, I did do some research into it, but I didn't really do that much intensive research. I only researched it um, only a little bit. Because, you know, like, I just mainly just used to go on top 10 creepypasta videos, and they used to, like, mention Alice Jack and stuff. And I also used to watch, um, I don't know, I remember watching this um, one video with this guy's encounter with Alice Jack and stuff, yeah. But that was just one video, I think. And yeah. So, so that's my thoughts on Alice Jack, and you should definitely do some research on it by yourself, yeah. And yeah, and what I think about it is, is that, I don't know, it was scary at the time, but you know, after I got older, I don't know. I just figured out I was faking it, I just stopped researching it and stuff. Or maybe I just lost interest, I don't know. Or maybe I just grew out of it, yeah. Yeah, yeah, lost interest or like, you know, grew out of it. Yeah, maybe I just lost interest or maybe I just grew out of it, yeah. And I don't know what else I can say about Alice Track is that, I don't know, he does look creepy, I mean. You know, he has no eyes, he has that blue mask on his face. He harvests your organs when you're sleeping, right? But he's not really that strong, you can easily beat the shit out of him and run away. But his advantage is that he's, doing, you know, he's incredibly stuff. I already mentioned that a lot now. But yeah, Alice Jack was an interesting creepypasta, I think. Yeah, I did used to do a lot of research. I mean, not really a lot of research, only a limited amount of research on it, I don't know. I wasn't really that interested in it, that's why. 
But it was an interesting creepypasta, and you should definitely definitely look into it by yourself in your own free time. But yeah, so, so that's my thoughts on Alice Jack. Alice Jack, and this is Dylan Mallow signing off.